So as you can see, it's just printing out distance in millimeters. If you want a quick guide on how to get one of these ultrasonic sensors working, just keep watching. I quickly printed up this jig for the ultrasonic sensor that will not hold it nice and tight. Now there's four pins, there's five volts, trig, echo and ground. So take them all to a corresponding pin that you'd like. I've personally got my trig pin in 12 and my echo pin in 10. Right, just quickly run through some code. Now. All you've got to do is define a couple of the pins, so the trig pin and the echo pin, which you've got connected to. Now you need uh, some variables. Realistically, you only need two, but I've got three because I wanted to get two different distances measured out. All right. Now in the setup, if you're just using the sensor on its own and you don't need serial output, well then you just need the pin modes for these two. Um, if you're using serial for to you know, get the information back, Obviously, you need serial in. All right. Now, this bit through here is what it takes to uh, read through the data uh, to get the, to read through the data. This bit here is calculating the distance, and this bit here is printing it up and then a die for a second before the whole process repeats. That's it. That's all you need. So you can just cut and paste. The different bits into your setup and into your loop, and it'll it should work. All right, just a quick demonstration of how it works. So you can see it's just printing out distance in millimeters. There you go, that's it.